Hey everyone, welcome back to We Live A Lot. Today I'm out here huckleberry picking. It's one of my favorite summer activities to do and I just had to share this little slice of huckleberry heaven with you. As you can see, the berries are fantastic. They're some of the biggest that I've ever ran into. I'm super excited to get picking these berries, but I just wanted to remind you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can get notified of any upcoming videos. If you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to pop down and say hello and welcome you to the channel. Remember to stay tuned till the end of the video so you can see exactly how many berries we came away with. Um, I do have to get picking because as you can see, my dog back there loves huckleberries also, so I gotta beat her to the big berries. to our patch. There's some awesome berries up here. Brooks has already made himself nice and comfy in this amazing little patch. Put together the Trekology Ultralight camping chair and he is sitting nice and comfy there. Right in the middle of the patch. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see those berries. Look at those. Nice. These are really nice. Those kind of berries fill your bucket nice and quick. That's what we like to find right there. Beautiful patch. These girls. Love huckleberries as much as I do. Nova laying down. Eating her berries. Hey girls. They just love being out here. stole my chair we do have two of them but uh, I didn't we didn't bring the other one back here we kind of had to hike back in here so um, but guys check out this chair she uh, she actually did a review on this chair the other day um, we've been taking these kind of everywhere with us um, they're they're portable you can take them apart uh, and they, they pack down to about about nine ten inches uh, they're really cool to have out here with us um, but yeah here go check I'll, I'll put a uh, link in the description and up on the card there go check that out and uh, check out how cool these chairs are and maybe I can snag this back from her when uh, probably not if she continues to be into huckleberries like that Check out this bush of berries that I'm sitting in front of right now. Got these ones down here, but look at this one. I pull this one up here. Heather's trying to get in here and steal it, but man, look at that. Heather, you put your hand out there so you can see how big those are. Just go ahead and pick some of them. Look at those things, man. We're out here at the cherry orchard. Those are great berries. Man, beautiful. Starting to get full there, you get nervous? Let's see. I run out of some space. Oh man, look at that, beautiful. 
Oh yeah, they're all back in here too. Look at get back down in here. Look at that. There's all over. Thick. So I'm just kind of giving you a close-up of some of the berries that we picked yesterday. Uh, we got home pretty late yesterday after a long day of picking and just kind of exploring the mountains. We decided to take the long way home, so we didn't really get home till super late. So I got home, put the berries in the fridge, showered up, and I wanted to bring all the berries back today and just kind of show you how many we got, how I washed them, um, and how we kind of process our berries before we use them to make uh, fun recipes. So what I like to do first is I like to lay out some paper towels. After I rinse the berries, I do like to spread them out just so that I can pick through any debris or any bad berries that are in there. So this is what I pick my huckleberries in. As you can see, it's, it's an old ice cream container. They're perfect, they have a handle, they hold exactly one gallon. And it's nice when you're out picking, especially if you're picking berries while you're camping, because they have a lid. They have the square bottom, they fit perfect in your cooler, you can seal it up so no water gets inside there, or like I did yesterday, I came straight home and since it does have that square bottom, it just goes nice into your refrigerator directly. So I like to set up my strainer over here and I'll slowly just kind of dump some berries in at a time. I don't spill them everywhere. Kind of turn my water on. I do like to just give them a nice Rinse, kind of get everything off of them. I'm like I'll just go through them. If there's any big pieces, I'll just pick them out as soon as I can see it. But it is easier once you spread them out over on your paper towel. Just kind of shake them dry. Don't have to be super gentle with them. These were nice, firm berries. I just kind of spread them out. That way I can see if there's any berries that weren't fully ripe. I like to get rid of those. Pick off any of the little stems, these that are sticking out. You don't want to find those in your baked goods afterwards. There's another one right here. Just kind of looks like that. Just pluck it off. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the rest of my berries in the strainer. that we got from this outing that they've been washed all the debris picked away I'm just gonna kind of leave them here to dry out and then I'm gonna throw them in the freezer I do plan on leaving a couple cups out there's some recipes that I want to make and I do want to make some homemade jam um, but yeah I feel like our outing went pretty well we got a little over a gallon this trip so hopefully we can spend some more time up there in the next coming weekends and get a couple more gallons before huckleberry season is over 
Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe to the videos, and check out any upcoming recipes I have or any product reviews. Remember, why live a little when you can live a lot?